Introducing Face Fusion 3.5.0, the biggest update yet, packed with powerful new features and improvements. This version brings a brand new background remover processor, making your face swaps cleaner and more professional. With the addition of Face Detector Margin, faces are now detected even beyond the frame for more accurate results. The update also introduces two new high-quality frame processor models for ultra-detailed outputs. The architecture has been completely revamped into modular processors and workflows, giving you greater flexibility and performance. Plus, Face Fusion 3.5.0 now supports MPEG and MXF video formats, expanding compatibility for creators and professionals alike. Upgrade now and experience the next evolution of AI-powered Face Fusion. If you are new to my YouTube channel, subscribe it and press bell icon to stay updated. Watch my whole video for full CUDA Toolkit easy installation. Click on GitHub link in my description to go to main page of Face Fusion. To install this with full CUDA support, you need to have at least 8GB GPU, Python 3.10.11, FFmpeg, Visual Studio, Git for Windows, CUDA Toolkit from 11.8 to 12.8 properly installed. You can watch my playlist for installing these dependencies, I will put playlist link in my description. Once you are ready, click on code option and copy git code. Go to drive or folder you want to install this in and type cmd in folder path a new command window will open. Type git clone and paste code you copy to clone face fusion in this folder or drive. Now with cd command go inside clone folder. Create then using python 3.10. Activate Venv with activation code. Update Setup Tools and PIP. Now go to main page of PyTorch and copy code for your CUDA toolkit. Make sure it's compatible to your CUDA toolkit. If it's not in list, just copy any code and paste in command window. Change version and run PyTorch code. After PyTorch installed, go to main folder and open requirements file. Change NumPy version, Unshuntime GPU version if it's for CUDA Toolkit 11.8 also change SIPI version then save requirements file.
Now run requirements code to install requirements. After requirements installed, downgrade NumPy version. Now run main code running it first time will download models. When you see local URL copy and paste this in any web browser to launch FaceFusion. To use this again easily make a bat file of this. Go to main folder and create new text file. Open text file and type this code as you see and save as run.bat. Now you can run FaceFusion easily by double-clicking this file. To use this for FaceSwap, you need to upload both source and target pictures. If you want to use it for background removing, you only need to upload target picture or video. You will love how accurate the result is. I hope you liked this video. If you got any question or request comment, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.